Okay. So, brother, it's good to see you, brother. It's good to see you back from. He's uh, a good back guy. From Ghana. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for shedding your blood at the cross. We thank you for dying for us, for giving your life for us. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood. First of all, we believe the prophets. We cannot believe anything unless the prophets say, and I'm going to read a prophet, the prophet Isaiah. The prophet Isaiah talks about the death of Jesus. In Isaiah 53, we read these words. It says, he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Here in the prophets, you believe in the prophets as Muslims. The prophet Isaiah prophesied that the Messiah would be a sacrifice for our sin. John the Baptist, a prophet, said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. The Lamb was a sacrifice. And John says, that Jesus would be a sacrifice. So the prophets point to Jesus being sacrificed. Psalm 22 says, they pierced my hands and feet, pointed to the sacrifice a thousand years before Jesus was born. It pointed to Jesus dying for us. Isaiah chapter 50, uh, 53, 700 years before Jesus pointed that Jesus would die for us. So the prophets, the prophets, you believe the prophets, over you, over to you. One more minute. All right. The prophets say that. I'll give. I'll, I'll rest my time. Go. It's okay. You can have his three minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I need water. I need water. It's okay. I've got. God bless you, bro. The Isa and Islam, Jesus, therefore, came to die for the seed of mankind. Now, Christianity has got many denominations, but one thing that they all unanimously believe in is that Jesus came to die for the seed of mankind, past, present, and future. So, Jason today is going to prove to us that Isa alayhi salam's main mission was to come to die for the seed of mankind. Now, we want to know where did this concept come from? Yeah. Hebrews 9.22 says that he said without the shedding of blood there is no atonement. Now, Christians will tell you that in the Old Testament when people sin they sacrifice animals. Now, they're in the new covenant. And that's a perfect lamb, which is Jesus, came to die for sin. Now, in this crucifix, I'm going to go to Quran now, what Allah said about this idea that the Messiah, because of the sin of Adam and Eve, sin entered into the world. And because of that, God said he's going to be God his son. Guys, that, guys, that guys, 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 that they said in both, Inna katadna asiya isna Maryam, Rasulallah, that we kill the Messiah, Isa, Jesus, the son of Maryam, the son of Mary, the message of Allah, Oma kataluhu, Oma salabuhu, they kill him not, no crucified him, but so it was made to appear to them. And all those who defy that are full of doubt, Malahum, they have no certain knowledge regarding it, illa tiba azan, but only a conjecture follow, follow. Omar Katolu Yakina. For authority, they kill him not. And the next verse, verse number 158 said, Nay, but rather Allah took him up. He's in heaven. We believe that. Isa alayhi salam did not die 
is in heaven, he's going to come back, and he's going to die like anyone, everybody, because every soul shall taste death. Now, the Christians, when I ask them, Okay, his authority then was the Quran. My authority is the Bible. I've talked about the prophet Isaiah. I've talked about the prophet John. I've talked about the prophet David, King David. Brother, brother, can you give me that scripture? Now Jesus, from his own words, Jesus says he came to die. So I'm proving you by the prophets. You believe the prophets as Muslims. Matthew 20, 28. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life a ransom for many. Jesus' own word says he gives his life as a ransom for many. Now, he quoted the Quran. He quoted, there's a verse in Surah 4, 157, 158, about Jesus not dying on the cross. But when you have Gnostic Gospels, they're from Gnostic, uh, uh, in Irenaeus Against Heresies, book 1, chapter 24, he talks about the Cyrenes. This view that Jesus did not die on the cross is from the Cyrenes. It, does, it comes from the Gnostics. And even the Muslims don't believe in the Gnostics. Now, the Quran has no evidence that Jesus did not die on the cross. He quoted the Quran that Jesus did not die. But the Quran, there's no eyewitnesses. There are eyewitnesses that saw Jesus. John was an eyewitness. Matthew was an eyewitness. There is evidence that Jesus died. We've seen in Matthew. Matthew was a companion of Jesus. And Matthew records that Jesus said he died. So whichever way you look at it, there is no way... Uh, that is the evidence about the Quran proves that Jesus did not die. I have the Son of Manuscript here. The Son of Manuscript. There are two Qurans in the Son of Manuscript. Two different Qurans. So when he's quoting the Quran, which Quran is he quoting? We don't know. So there are different Qurans. This is not evidence. Quoting the Quran is not evidence that Jesus did not die, Laman. It's not evidence, bro. We believe the prophets. The prophets say he died, bro. Over to you. It's okay, you can have it, it's all right. Today, today, I think you'll get a Bible lesson. I'm warming up. I'm going to call the Quran first. I'm going to be a Bible lesson. To show you that the idea that a human being can die for the sin of mankind is claptrap, it's bunker. Nowhere in the Old Testament, none of the Jewish prophets. If you show me a single verse in the Old Testament where any of the prophets said that because of the sin of Adam and Eve, Sin entered into the world, and because of that, God had to send his son to die for the sin of mankind and become a Christian. Nowhere. Crucifixion, resurrection, nowhere in the Old Testament. So, you live in the New Testament. So, Adam and Eve in the Quran, I'm going to Quran first, and I come to the Bible. You get Bible lessons. Adam and Eve in the Quran, Allah said, Adam and Eve had the sin, but they prayed to Allah, Allah forgave their sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a forgiving most possible. The Quran has 114 surahs. From the first surah, surah Fatiha, to the last surah, 140 surah, surah Nas. Every surah begin, it begins to Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Except uh, surah Atawba, surah, surah number 9, which is about war. Allah is so, uh, forgive most merciful. You understand? So let's go to the uh, Quran now. If you need to go to the Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 37. It said, Fatabaka Adam ibn Rahim, Kalmatim, Fataba Le, in the Wata Wata Wawra Rahim. And Adam received some word from his Lord, and his Lord forgave him. Verily, he's the one who forgives. He forgave them. And they, when they prayed to Allah to forgive, to forgive them, this is mentioned in Surah Al Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 23. It says, Kala Rabbana Zalamna Amfusana wa illam tafilna wa taqramana wa lakuna min al kasirin. Adam and Eve said, Our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. If you do not forgive us and have mercy upon us, we will surely be among the losers. Allah forgave them. Allah says He can forgive any sin except one sin. Any sin. When we sin, we turn to Allah for forgiveness. Any sin except one, which is the sin of associating partners with him, which is called shirk. This is Surah Nisa 448. Allah said, Allah forgives not that partners should be set up with him, but he forgives any other sin, any other sin to whom he wills. And anyone who associates partners with Allah indeed has indeed 
invented a tremendous sin. Allah forgives any sin. Allah said the Quran, several verses. Yeah? In uh in Surah, uh, how do you call it? Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 110. In Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse 75. That when you sin, you turn to him, he forgives your sins. You understand? But you said, I want to know where this concept come, where it comes from. You know concept comes from? They are following Paul. Paul is the one who comes with this concept. Now, I'm going to give him, he's going to Eastern. When I come, I'm going to go to the Bible now and give Jason five Bible lessons. Go ahead. Okay. In the Old Testament, the Lord, when Adam and Eve fell, he gave them skins to show them, the skins of an animal, to show there had to be a sacrifice. Cain and Abel, Abel gave a sacrifice. It was accepted. Cain's was not accepted. Abraham was told to sacrifice his son, but God provided a ram sacrifice. Uh, uh, Moses, when he was coming out of Egypt, they had the lamb, Passover lamb, and the blood was shed. As the blood was shed, they were saved from the wrath to come. Now, when Jesus said, uh, said, this is my body given for you, this is my blood given for you, it's not Paul, it's Jesus referring back to the Passover, the Passover. Abraham was taught sacrifice, Abel was taught sacrifice, Abraham was taught sacrifice, Moses was taught sacrifice. They even had the Day of Atonement once a year where animals were sacrificed. Why? Because the animals were punished. So when Jesus comes along, as my brother quoted, he said, I give my life a ransom for many. Paul did not just teach it. John, a companion of Jesus in 1 John 1, 7. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus' his son cleanses us from all sin. Now he keeps quoting the Quran. I don't accept the Quran. The Quran says we were created in eight days and six days. We've, we've looked at the Son of Manuscript, two different Qurans. Which Quran? In the Son of Manuscript. Two different Qurans in the Son of Manuscript. I don't accept your Quran. I don't accept your prophet is a false prophet. I don't accept him. Right? I, I go with the word of God, brother. Okay. You done? Oh, oh you start right. So, the word of God teaches that Jesus died for us. I will now read you Paul. He says, and through him, to reconcile himself all things were on the earth in heaven making peace by the blood of the cross and in the book of revelation he says the overcame by the blood of the lamb the overcame without that blood you are lost brothers sisters without that blood you are going to hell you need that blood why i'll give you logic now allah cannot just forgive allah is loving but uh, god is loving and God is just. He must punish sin. And if he punish you, you're going to hell. So God the Son came in and said, Laman, I'll take your punishment for you, bro. You finished yeah. finish now? Go, go, go. Now, bro, I'm going to give this man a Bible lesson. Thank because you. I think these pastors here, they're insipid. They're going to their Bible. You're deceiving people. You say, first of all, there is no, how many Qurans are there? See, when I come here, I bring the Bibles. Only one Quran. I'm using King but James. Bring a copy of the King James. I can tell you. This one said King James is corrupted. Your Bible said that. That is the scholars said your King James is corrupted. I'm going to read that. I don't want to digress. It's corrupted. You read <laughs> up in the end. I read your Bible. Bro. I got the one Quran. Oh, you got your Bible. Muhammad, Let's go. Look, God, God, I think Muhammad. you got to go back. You said Jesus could come to die for the sin of mankind. Why? You know who said that? Paul. You read the Bible in the book of Romans, Bible lessons now. In the next 20 minutes, I'm going to quote only from the Bible. He doesn't did believe in the Quran. Did you just Google Quran. that Let's Muhammad doubted his salvation in the Quran? You read the Bible, you know who said that? This comes from Paul. The, the New Testament has 27 books. Paul wrote half of it from the book of Romans to the book of Philemon, 13 books. And if you give the book of Hebrews to Paul, 14 books, they are following Paul. When he are crucifixed of resurrection, it's Paul. You know what Paul said? Paul is the one who said that it's the sin of Adam. That yeah. is why Jesus came. Side, Listen to me. Side. That's why Jesus had to come to die for the sin of mankind. Show me a single verse in the, in the Old Testament where any of the prophets or God said that because of the sin of Adam and Eve, sin entered into the world. And because of that, he had to send uh, his begotten son to die on the cross, of, cross for the sin of mankind. If it is not there, they are on falsehood. Now let's call Paul here. Paul said in the book of Romans, chapter number 5, verse number 12. 
Wherefore, as well, wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all, all have sinned. Who is that Paul? Nowhere in the Old Testament, but for the same in the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse number 19. Romans 5 19. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. Why did Paul that, that from? Show me from the Bible in the Old Testament, anywhere, as I said. Prophet of God said that for us, why one man's disobedient, many were made sinners, crucifixion, resurrection, they were to be found in the Old Testament. Let's go what God said to you about this. Do you know in the Old Testament? Second. I'm like, how about 30 seconds? 30, 30 seconds. Okay, I'm going to go. Old Testament, I'm going to come to that. Yeah, the banks this myth that Isa and Islam, Jesus, came to die for the sin of mankind. He made it clear no one can redeem the life of another person. No one can take the sin of another person. I'm going to quote that. By the time I finish that, I think this man here, pastor, will get a Bible lesson. I had to with him. I retired him to Ghana. He went to Ghana. <laughs> they gave me a church in Ghana and a wife there. But today, inshallah, we go to Old Testament. Your turn, leave it to you. Inshallah. inshallah. Okay, go. okay. So he, he mentioned the Quran again. and this, There are different Qurans. Check the Sana manuscript. There's two Qurans there. They're different. Where does it come from? Okay. So I'm answering him. His, his authority in the Quran is not an authority. It's not the word of God. It's just a mishmash DJ book. Okay, don't worry about it. Right. Don't digress. Right. Let's stick to your point. We have the covenants in Genesis 6, 17, 18, Genesis 9, 9, 11, Genesis 22, 8, Exodus 46, 3, Exodus 31, 12, 17, 1 Samuel 7, 11, Jeremiah 31, 34, Hebrews 8, 4, 13. We have covenant. We have the Old Covenant and the New Covenant. The Old Covenant, you had to be forgiven by sacrifice. Moses had the animals to be sacrificed on the Day of Atonement. You're saying, where do we get that from? We get it in Exodus 12, 13. We get it in the Old Testament about sacrifice. The blood had to be shed. God was pointing it in the Old Testament that the Messiah would come. Isaiah 53, you've not answered that. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. By his stripes we are healed. By the blood you have forgiveness. Muhammad did not, he, he did not have forgiveness. He doubted his faith. He doubted his faith. 46, 49. Uh, sorry. I am not the first messenger ever sent, nor do I know what will happen to me. That's in the Quran. No, 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 don't get, don't get involved, please. No, 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 no he's no, helping no, no, me. Since I get involved, don't get involved. No, I need, yeah, I need. No, it. no, no, no. Someone stole Jesus my Quran man. today. Okay, come, come ahead. So with I that. need, I need yeah, that. We're sticking to the point. Please, Victor. Yeah. Yeah. I asked you to bed, you run away. No. You're scared. Come and help him out. Hey. Both of you. You're running. You're I can't take my... both of you on. Then don't come. No, no, no come. Then come. He's wasting my time now. He's wasting my time. No, no, you're wasting my time. No, no, no. Stop it. No, no, no. No, no, Muslims. If you want, come here. I'm ready. Because someone stole my Quran. I need help. No, no, no. Guess what? Someone what? I'm getting yeah, old, I can't, I can't remember. Give me, can, can you use that? No, I can't remember. They're written down. No, 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 no. Then you've got to prepare yourself when you come here. I have no. prepared. Someone stole if, my Quran. If he today. wants, look, if he wants, he's invited. Come oh, in come on, Laman. You're, no. you're stalling for time. No, I'm not stalling for time. You are stalling. It. It's all ad hominem now. Well, no, he can't. Words from outside. I've just read from the Quran. Listen, I've read from the Quran. I've read from the Quran that Muhammad doubted his salvation. He did not have forgiveness. Now, any Christian here, you're a Christian. Brother, brother, you're a Christian. Are you forgiven? Yes, he's forgiven, he's cleansed. If you want salvation, you can have assurance of salvation in the blood. Your view, you do not know if you're saved or not. Muhammad did not know he was saved. So this doctrine does not give you an assurance of salvation. But if you come to the blood of Jesus Christ and be washed in the blood and know that you're forgiven, when it says in the old hymn, when I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, when you understand that the Prince of Glory died for you and you come to forgiveness in the blood of Jesus, you will have an assurance. Muhammad never had an assurance of salvation. You don't have an assurance of salvation. No Muslim has an assurance of salvation today. No, no, no. You don't. Do you know you're saved today? No. No Muslim. Look, look, Jason. Go. Uh, Jason, I'm let's keep the debate on a very respectable level. It is, it okay, is. Okay. I'm just passing okay. what, what I'm saying, what I'm saying. I know. You can, you can raise your voice. I'm not interrupting. Listen, you are failing miserably. You understand? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. 
I'm going to quote from the Bible now, Old Testament now. But when I finish, I want you to show me. Look, in your New Testament, John 5, 46, Jesus said to the Jews, If you believe Moses, you believe me, for he wrote about me. Don't go to Isaiah. What about? Listen to me. I want you to tell you, what did Moses write about Jesus? When Jesus came, he found the law of Moses. Yeah, Moses would have prepared Jesus coming. Now, Jesus put all his eggs in one basket because Jews were giving him hard time. So John 4, John 5, 46 said to them, if you believe Moses, you will believe me, for he wrote about me. I want you to know, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. I want you to show me crucifixion, resurrection. I want you to show me Jesus being God in whatever. I want you to show me what did Moses write about Jesus. Let's go to the Old Testament. This means I'm going to debunk the Old Testament. The bank this means that him, sin can be inherited. You read the Bible. It is mentioned in uh, in Ezekiel. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter number 18, verse number 20 to 20. 20 says, the soul that sin shall die. The soul that sin shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor shall the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteousness shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. Verse, 20, verse number 21. But if the wicked will turn from all his sins which are committed, and keep all my statutes, and those what is lawful and right, he shall solely live, he shall not die. Verse number 22. None of the transgressions which he has committed shall be remembered against him for the righteousness which he has done he shall solely live and pastor number 23 god said for i do not take any pleasure in the death of anyone rather am i not pleased when they turn from their ways and leave the box this bit right. of hebrews 9 22 which is with me which says without the shedding of blood there is no atonement every christian believes in that without the shedding of blood there is no atonement but ezekiel the banks that you read the Bible again in the book of Numbers, in no, in the book of uh, uh, yeah, Deuteronomy, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 24, verse number 16. 16. Deuteronomy 24, 16, he said, The father shall not be put to death for the children, neither shall the children be put to death for the father, but every man shall be put to death for his own sin. Amen. The banks, you remember Amen. that? You, Amen. you remember that? Amen. Amen. Similar message repeated in a uh, certain book of uh, Kings. Chapter number 14, verse number 6. The fathers shall not, shall not be put to death for the children. Neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers, but every man shall be put to death for his own sin. Do you understand that? Amen. Have you read the verse? Yeah, but, uh, sin cannot be inherited. Now, I want you to tell me, finish. what brother, did brother, Moses write brother, about Jesus? Brother, brother, you've run out of time. Oh, now, he quoted Ezekiel. What he forgets in Ezekiel, Ezekiel stood under the temple. The temple was a sacrifice. So you, the whole prophet Ezekiel believed in the temple and the temple was sacrificed. So you're taking those scriptures out of context of Ezekiel. Moses, you're quoting Moses, but Moses had the tabernacle and the tabernacle had the sacrifice. Jesus' own words is referring back to the Old Testament to Moses when he says in John chapter 6, verse 53, Then Jesus said to him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you oh. have no life in you. Whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood has eternal life and will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. So here the Lord is saying, it's a prophecy that he would die for us and that you have to believe in his flesh and blood that he died on the cross for us. That's in John chapter 6. The blood saves you. The blood cleanses you. We've looked at Adam was given skins. Abraham, Abraham was told to sacrifice. We've seen Abel sacrifice. We've seen Moses sacrifice. Even Ezekiel believed in the sacrifice. Why were the sacrifices? Because we have an old covenant that points to the Messiah would come and you keep quoting Hebrews Hebrews proves the point that you're trying to disprove that he is expounding the Old Testament and he's showing you in the book of Hebrews there had to be a sacrifice now in the Old Testament we have prophets, priests and kings Jesus is the final prophet the final priest and the final king 
There was a high priest in the Old Testament. Jesus is the final high priest who died for us. He gave his life for us on the cross, brother. So uh, one last argument, an argument, right? Alec, uh, God cannot just forgive. If you rape someone, right? You rape a thousand women. You rape a thousand women and you win the lottery and you help a million people with a million pound and you get caught for raping thousands of women and you come to the court and you say, oh judge, forgive me because I have helped millions of people with millions of pounds. The judge will send you down for your rape. God has to judge. If he judge you, you will go to hell. But Christ stepped in your place. He shed his blood. Without that blood, my man, you are lost, brother. You are lost. Even your own prophet did not know he was saved. And you don't know you're saved. Brother, and, that, and this is the last brother, one for me because I'm tired. Yeah. I'll let you finish. No, brother, you finish. You finish. You haven't studied your Bible. You know, he said, God cannot just I'm going to let you finish. No, listen to me. I'm going to let you finish. Bible. Have you studied the Bible? Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know God, God I, said he can forgive you? No, no, wait. I'm tired, brother. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you finish. Okay. God said he can forgive you. I don't know where you, you people have studied your Bible. Okay, but I'm letting you finish. No, I, you know, you know, I just I said Jesus I'm giving, said. I'm giving him the okay. last word. John 5 46. If you believe Moses, Three you will believe him. For he wrote about me. What did Moses write about Jesus? Crucifixion, resurrection. What Paul said. For us by one man, sin entered into the world. And death by sin. And so death passed upon all men. For that all have sin. He did not even address that. Paul is the one who said it. But if you read the Bible, you know, God said, God said, I'm sorry for these pastors. I think that in the book of Isaiah, <laughs> chapter 43, uh, verse number 25, God said, if I, even I am he, I, even I am he, who blots us your transgressions, who forgive your sins for my own sake. Do you know the verse in the Bible? Do you know the verse for the in the Bible? In the 2nd book of Chronicles, chapter number 7, verse number 14. Chronicles 7, 14, 2nd Chronicles. God said, if my people, if my people who are called by my name, Will humble, who will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then I will hear from heaven and I'll forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Do you not understand that? I, I understand. So, what do you mean that God cannot forgive them? What do you understand? What do you mean? By, I want to know. Short time. Short time. Even Jesus speaks about. Look, Jesus yeah, even laments about. About uh, how to call it, Jesus even said, Let me say, let me go to the New Testament now because Old Testament, you people go to the Old Testament. Yeah, it says that, in fact, no, in one more, in the book of Psalms, chapter yeah. 7, verse number 49, says that no one passing. I don't know whether you know this verse. Uh, yeah. in, the book of, in the book of Psalms, chapter 7, verse number 41, no one can redeem the life of another, no one can redeem. The life of another or give to god a ransom for them but you say jesus came to die for the sin of mankind the old testament debunks that i want you to prove to me a verse from the old testament where any of the prophets subscribe to this concept hebrews 9 22 without a shedding of blood there is no atonement because in the old testament said people sin and they turn to almighty god and they forgive their sins they are not addressing it so as you can see you see what i mean I saw a quote of the Quran in the beginning, Adam and Eve sin, and pray to Allah, Allah forgive their sin, sin kind of inherited. You see, Old Testament, I can go on, several parts of the Old Testament. Just finish, finish. To the bank. Allah was to praying to somebody. To the bank. Lomel, 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 So I can see that. No, 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 no. The three minutes is up. So, shall so we agree then? Go, go, Because it's finished, right? No, it's finished now. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, but can I just say? Sh sh what are you going to say now? Because finish, I'm going to do my, I'm going to do my conclusion. No, but can I just, you can do your conclusion. I'm not going to say a conclusion. What are you going to say? I just want to say that. We've done 3-3, three, three, where you've had your time, my time. I, I just wonder, do you want a, just an open, friendly chat where you ask me and we just talk for a three, three minutes? Same topic. So, so, so like, same topic. it's not your time, my time. We no, just... don't digress. I want to, don't, it's the same topic. Don't yeah, go no, the same prophet. topic. You're listen, same topic. Man, 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 just listen. Because I was talking to you, you are going about prophet, you are no, disrespecting. Man, and we did it. Man, we said from the beginning, no, you're on camera. You're prophet, prophet this. 
I said, let's stick to the point. We stuck uh, to the point. No, but you're going to oh, a prophet. Don't be like no, that. You don't know what I'm saying. Because I know you guys. No. Why I'm, do you digress then? I'm trying to no, explain. Why, no, why do, why do you say no something man, bad about us? No, no, why? Just calm down. No, I'm, 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 I'm trying down. to help you. I'm trying to help you. Listen. I'm trying to help you too. Wait, no, wait. Listen, listen. Okay, listen. We've done three minutes, three minutes. Okay, why, we, why don't we just listen, talk? Listen, but like we like can talk. Let's talk. Listen, we can talk. Oh, we we end it. Listen, because you've had your time. I, can you, you make your conclusion? I say we can talk. I, I finish. Listen to me. I finish. I say we can talk, but you people digress. Yeah, but you get this thing? That's at the hammer. Let me talk. You're attacking me now. No, I'm not attacking you. Let's leave it. We're done. Can I talk? We're, we're done. We've done the three minutes. We're finished. You, you have your conclusion. I don't you have your conclusion. No, the debate is finished now. So I'm gonna go is this, now. Guy, brother, He's brother, I want to call more brother, the Bible. brother, as you can see, uh, as you can see, the Old Testament, brother, the brother, the brother, brother, Jesus brother, 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 brother. Can I finish with the conclusion? Okay. Is setting up Lord, that is not upon me. And I call it. I just to the Jesus conclusion. What what I'm saying here. His authority was the Quran. I showed him in the Quran. There's two different Qurans. I showed him the Sana manuscript as two Qurans. I showed him that we're arguing from the prophets. I showed him from Adam there was a sacrifice. They had skins. I showed him Abel had a sacrifice. I showed him Abraham had a sacrifice. I showed him that Moses had a sacrifice. He quoted Ezekiel. Ezekiel believed in the temple sacrifice. He kept quoting Hebrews, which proves against him that there's a sacrifice. We, we gave Jesus on words he was a sacrifice. He said in John 6, I give my blood to drink, my body to, to, to eat. He's talking about sacrifice. So whichever way you look at it, and he admits that Paul teaches sacrifice. So whichever way you look at it, he talks about the Quran is an authority about Jesus not dying. But we showed that's a Gnostic belief. He got that from Gnosticism. There's no evidence that Jesus did not die. We believe in eyewitnesses. Matthew and I witness. John and I witness. So whichever way you look at it. But I quoted Isaiah 53. And he was never able to answer that. The ancient rabbis know that that was about the Messiah. Many rabbis know that. So uh, I gave him respect. I let him talk. But he didn't prove his point. Now, just last thing. Okay, okay. He doesn't believe the Bible's the word of God. Okay. But in order to prove his point, half the time he's quoting the Bible. He's quoting the Bible, and yet he doesn't believe the Bible. He's quoting verses in the Bible, yet he doesn't believe it. So he's, a con he's contradictory, and he's looking at the Bible through Quran eyes. If you look at the Bible, Jesus clearly said this, I give my life a ransom for many. We have four Gospels based on eyewitnesses that Christ died. Mark used Peter as an eyewitness. Luke collected eyewitnesses. John was an eyewitness. Matthew was an eyewitness. The Old Testament prophesied the Messiah would die. Psalm, 90, 20, Psalm 22, they pierced my hands and my feet. Psalm 50, uh, Isaiah 53, he was bruised for our iniquities. The temple sacrifice pointed to a final sacrifice. Abraham was told to sacrifice his son. A ram was provided. That ram was in a thorn bush. When Jesus died on the cross, he had thorns on his head. Right. So it points to Jesus as a sacrifice. Without that blood, you are lost. And I pointed in the Quran yes. that Muhammad doubted his faith. So his doctrine yes. does not give you an assurance of salvation. He doesn't have an assurance of salvation. No Muslim has an assurance of salvation. Why? Because they don't have the blood of Jesus Christ. And finally, he said, Paul, Paul, Paul. But John, in 1 John, talks about the blood. Revelation says they overcame by the blood of the Lamb. God bless you. Right, well done, Jay, Paul. Oh, thank you. Well done, Jay, Paul. Thank you.